Hey folks, it's at Can2, and I am with Lisa Lapita Sawicki today. And we got some really cool news coming for Detroit Metro businesses. And I'm so excited because this is an absolute revolution uh, for retail stores, uh, bars, restaurants, clubs, uh, entertainment venues. And if you have a press release or if you have an idea of how to attract the public, but you don't want to spend the extra money for these types of economic times, We've hotwired the whole process for you online, so you can meet from your core audience within under an hour, if you can believe that. Uh, our record is 42 minutes. Uh, so we can put a company, boom, on the web, in front of the right people. So, that is so cool. Pretty cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Now, Lisa, you have a strong PR background. You your own firm, you've been in the industry inside for 30 years, yeah. and you've seen so many different Shifts and changes. I just want the biggest one to be the accountant. There's been nothing like this ever in the 30 years that I've been practicing as a publicist. Uh, just amazing, you know. That's um, great. And there's, it, it, it really is very exciting to see this whole internet explosion yeah. and what that means to a, a company owner, any kind of business, any kind of nonprofit, any kind of. Um, entrepreneur that has a product or service to sell, there are so many possibilities that that's why I'm loving it. That's really amazing. That's amazing. Um, now what, what are some of your, your big questions you have like this? Well, first of all, like, you know, once you do a click, is it on there forever until you keep it off? Yeah, uh, pretty much, and sometimes. It takes on a life of its own in a good situation. Um, we've had clips that we put on to um, Rever, uh, YouTube, uh, Vimeo.com, and they got picked up by uh, Australia, um, Berlin, Tokyo. Um, some of our stuff popped up in um, uh, China. Um, I think that's kind of interesting too because you know Southeast Asia has like a wall up for uh, websites. They don't want to do the West. Interesting. That's what I heard. Right. Unless it's art or music related. But how do you? <laughs> because get then, they, for some reason, they cherry pick who they want to who they want to distribute. Right. Boy, that's it's not cool. Yeah, that that's very interesting. And uh, do you have a search? I mean, do you? How do you know how to get overseas? You know, into well, Europe, into other countries. That's a good question. Um, every industry moves a different way. You never know exactly what's going to happen until you actually walk there and do it. There's a viewer, there's an audience for every situation. So, saying so in matchmaking game. Yeah. Now, here's the story and here's the right outlet for the story, just like I've always done traditionally. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's definitely matchmaking. What makes sense here? Yeah. And is it important, um, even if you're going overseas, do you have to have a 1 800 number? I mean, certainly you want your clip to, to, to link back to your website, right? Right, right. So, you want it to link back to your website. Do you need an 800 telephone number or is your regular telephone number okay? It's a, it's a good idea to have an 800 number. I, I have one. And also, it's a hyperlink inside the, the little bio that you write on your business. And some video search engines will hyperlink that for you back to your site. Oh, I see. Not all of them do it, though. Oh. But some do. Oh, okay. Some do. So that's something that's really great to you know about that, too. Oh, yeah. Are there any absolute don'ts that you want to let people know? I mean, are doing a video clip on the internet they absolutely should not do or say or look? You know what I mean? Is, you know, is there kind of an appropriate attire? Is there appropriate, you know, the type of length of your video clip? Um, you know, like back in the early days, we used to script them out and we tried to be formal about it and have scripts. And, you know, like this cue, you're going to come out and do this. Uh, you're going to wear this. And we, we did all these different formal things with traditional world broadcast. That's kind of how I was trained when I was at EMU. And, <laughs> the rules don't really apply, and if it's too formal, if it's too commercial looking, mm -hmm. people don't watch it. In fact, I had a guy who does um, home repair, and it was, it was just a straight commercial. There was nothing really, no, nothing newsy about it. And we got some complaints, and people said, go take a nap. It's not quite the same. 
interesting. So the viewers spoke, and they said, "We don't want to see this. You're not really telling us a story. You just want to sell your stuff." So when I go into a restaurant or I meet a club owner, or uh, I want to hear the real stories from the people. See, in a printed, in a printed uh, document, like a um, like weekly entertainment paper yes. or yellow pages, all you get is a phone number and an address, and you don't really get a full idea what that place is about. The web video is just the opposite. I'm able to show the personalities of the people, show the actual interiors of the place, so you get a, a, a feel for the ambiance before they actually get in the car and go and spend money with you. So it, it's, it's a win-win all the way. I love that because it really makes the public relations of publicity as opposed to advertising. Yeah. Because public relations is all about educating educating your customer and really giving them a valuable how-to or valuable insight, not just saying, here I am, here's my cost, here's how to call me. Right. It's really giving value added. So it's absolutely a public relations, publicity, positive publicity, and definitely. Yeah. It's just, um, it's got the best spin on it. You know, I always tell people, bring your best self when you come in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. And everything is unscripted. So we don't really know what they're going to say. And I like it that way because it's more believable, number Absolutely. one. And you can actually tell people what you want to say to your, to your core customer audience. You, know, you speak from the heart, and people can really pick up on that. Yeah. You, if you look at food TV or travel TV, it's the same kind of thing. You know, when I opened up Peter's Publicity Garagosian in 1986, I remember um, it was so very corporate. Everybody wanted that corporate look. Wow. Everybody wanted to spend a ton of money on those very slick brochures or DVDs or I mean websites weren't around then. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it was everything had to be very slick and very costly looking. Wow. And now <laughs> it's like there's this whole trend for it being much more um, homegrown, if you will, or um, more organic. Right. Um, more simple. They, people don't want the flash and all that other stuff. They don't want to pay for the great lobby and the great offices. Yeah, they that's want to. They want to know their practitioner right. is working on a. You know that they're not paying for all the bells and whistles of their of their marketing professional. That's a very good point. I mean, it's like um, uh, that whole aspect of the thing. It has to be clean, super polished, and very corporate. Uh, it's different from what the kind of stuff that we do. We call it, I, I call it duct tape videos, duct tape marketing. Duct tape marketing. It's really kind of like do-it-yourself kind of thing. But there's a there's a focus behind it. There is some science behind it because we do talk to search engines with the clips once they're done. And um, but it's just the opposite of broadcasting on television, you know, than on the web. You know, people on the web like it a little rough, more believable. Their defense goes down. Well, what about like a live, uh, a virtual kind of um, counseling session or an interview show where you and I could talk, or just you, or you and I both, uh, we could actually counsel clients, mm -hmm. you know, virtually live on the internet, just like this, as, as opposed to this being taped, mm -hmm. but to actually do a, a live webinar or a live podcast, you know, I would think that would be very good. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, I, I've been approached recently to do a streaming broadcast of a concert, uh, of a concert footage together, and blast that out uh, to two different coasts. Are we eliminating? I mean, this technology tech. Are we in a way eliminating? I mean, there's always going to be high touch when people want to meet in person. You know what I mean? Yes. Because that's always a beautiful thing to meet with somebody in person and to to feel the um, the possibilities of creativity and that vibration of in person. Okay, but really, when you think about it, so many meetings can take place with you being either in your office, wherever that is, and never going into your car, can't it? So you're really having a meeting, you know, with the internet. You know, which I just think is fascinating, and, and um, it's like you have a virtual office on the internet, you can have a conference, mm -hmm. but nobody's really in your office. Mm -hmm. I think that's just uh, that's that's one way to do it. That's definitely one way to do it.